People on both sides of the aisle are celebrating the historic significance of what this election outcome means for women and young girls. Kamala Harris, the first woman, first black person, and first South Asian to become vice president of the United States. Channel 2's Taisha Walker live with that story tonight. Taisha? Dominique, as you mentioned, Vice President-elect Kamala Harris represents a lot of firsts for a lot of different groups. And we spoke with several of them, including HBCUs like TSU right behind me, who say they are very proud of this historic moment. Vice President-elect Kamala Harris has inspired women to dream and attain it with her historic election win. Harris will be the first woman, first African-American, and first South Asian VP. She just brings this whole new optic I think is just inspiring. I think it's an also cautionary tale that we not get consumed with the optics of what she looks like, but also what work she's going to do. Professor Elizabeth Gregory with the University of Houston says, though Harris is blazing trails for women, it also comes at a time when women are being pushed out of the workforce. We're in the middle of a, a she session, right, where a lot of women are being pushed out of work because of the pandemic because of the cuts in jobs, but also because of the cuts in childcare. Harris's sorority, Alpha Kappa Alpha, the first black Greek letter sorority founded at her alma mater, Howard University, says they're proud, not just because she's the first. Black young girls from around the country have someone to look to, to say, if you continue to do your work, if you continue to do it well, you can achieve at all levels. TSU's president, Kenneth Hewitt, says Vice President-elect Harris's win also highlights the quality education one can get at a historically black college and university. For graduates of HBCUs, there's, um, you know, there's an extra sense of pride. And President Hewitt went on to say with HBCUs such as Howard University receiving uh, this national spotlight due to the VP elect, he hopes that other HBCUs like TSU right behind me will see an increase in enrollment. Reporting live, Taisha Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News.